Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet another video here at the channel. So in this video, we are going to talk about what is new in DaVinci Resolve and DaVinci Resolve 19 was just announced at NAB. So in this video, we're just going to have a overview of some of the new features, not all of them, but the, the ones that I like the best. And I'm just going to briefly talk about those and um, maybe I'll do a little bit of showcasing and stuff like that uh, in this video and then in future videos we are going to dive more into the specific new tools available in DaVinci Resolve 19. So without further ado, let's get right to the video. Okay, so let's have a look at the defocus background tool in DaVinci Resolve 19. It's just one of the new features I do like, so um, let's have a look at that. So we have this clip from a short I did 15 years ago and back then Depth of field was a harder thing to do than it is today. So let's uh, fake it in this shot, even though it's not necessary for this scene. But so first up, we have this clip here, a guy sitting, watching out here, looking around. Let's uh, fix that. So first up, we're going to set up this effect. We're going to add in a magic mask, and then we just draw on the dude and the newspaper here. Back from a time where there actually were newspapers. And I'm just going to push better and uh, analyze quickly forward and backwards. And um, again, DaVinci is pretty good at this. Okay, so DaVinci have done its thing. And uh, we're going to just take a look here at our tracker, if that's okay. I think it is. Ah, okay, so we did do... It did track something we don't want to be in, so I'm just going to take that off. Like so. Okay, so then we'll go up to the effects library and we're just going to search focus background. I'm just going to take this node and uh, just put it on for the tutorial here. I'm just going to toggle off the magic mask. So if I go in here, I can have a mask preview and I can see this is my mask and I can go in here in the max blur and I can change that. So if I want it to be more blurred, but that's not what I want. I can also go into the mass contrast and then I can make this way better. And the idea here is of course to make this very, very visible, like so. Okay, I'm just going to toggle off the mask preview again. So if I go into the effects, I can then control the blur here. So I can blur it out. And, and, and you can do a super quick effect, by the way. So let's go to the beginning of the clip. And here in the beginning of the clip, I well, want the, the blur to be not there. So I'm going to put in a keyframe here. And then as I go forward, I want it to go out of focus. I'm just going to do like that. So here we have that little quick effect actually. So we can see here it goes out of focus, which is super, super cool. Also, we can do some other cool things. I'm just going to reset my blur. And uh, we also have this saturation. And in saturation, we could, for instance, make the background black and white, if that's what we want. So we now have this clip here. And again, we can do a, uh, let's say we could do the same thing where we have the black and white background and it's then turning into color and again we can we can do that again with keyframes so now we have this little effect here which i think is quite cool okay i'm just going to reset that of course there's another effect we can also actually colorize things so now that is the background you can see i'm per default i'm using this blue color that's the the color there is in um but I could actually just change the color to, let's say, we're going to make it like yellow because maybe we were shooting outside and it was cloudy and we needed to be like hot, like it's sunny. So we can actually just increase it here. And of course we would need to do some changes into our talent as well. So that's going to match up, but this is a super cool tool. Also the new tool, the film look creator is kind of cool. So let's just have a quick look at that. I'm just going to drag that and put that into the grid here in between the notes and uh, per default i think all of these uh, half tone are on and the blooming effect is on we're going to take those off and uh, we don't want any flicker 
game viewer no film gate so film gate is actually not uh, enabled so also i'm going to toggle off the vignette so let's just uh, quickly jump into this so uh, if we go up here to the presets we can change different presets i think we're just going to keep it on uh, custom for now so we're just going to go up here and uh, use color space timeline I think that is for this purpose that is okay because this is a shot on a super old camera so I'm not going to do anything with the color space uh, but maybe I'll do a another video about uh, setting up this if you're using a Blackmagic cinema camera or something like that so anyways I'll go into the color settings and I can go in here and I can actually change the exposure a little for this clip a bad idea shot on an old camera with the high dynamic range on zero so we're going to take down the exposure a little bit, I think, would be cool. Then we're going to the contrast and we can play around with the contrast. I think this looks good. And then we can, of course, change the highlights if we want something like that. And then we have a fade. And what is that is doing is it's just going to fade the colors. I'm not going to do that. Then we have a white balance. We can change the white balance which is kind of cool. So I'm going to make it a little more like this. And then we have a tint control where we can change the tint. I think maybe this is good. We also have a skin where we can control these colors of the skin a little bit. So I think that's good. And then we have a subtractive saturation where we can, again, go all the way, uh, which doesn't look good. Maybe we would do something like this. Then we have a richness where we can enhance the colors a bit. So let's try to enhance the colors. So we are in, at least we want to make the cap here a little more bluish. And then we have a bleach bypass mode and that we are going to do like something like that. We're going for some crazy look, I think. But we can just, if we go up here and we can toggle off what we did. So you can see we went from this to this pretty fast. Also, we have some split tones. So I'm going to enable split tones. So we're just going to give that a little bit here and the hue angle. Could do something like that. Then we have the vignette. And we want a vignette on this. So you can see it was there. And we're just going to increase the size of our vignette. And also we can change the amount. So how much. Something like that looks cool. Then we have the uh, halation, which I don't think do a lot on, on this clip here. So I think we'll just leave that on. We have the blooming effect. Uh, we can do that. Let's see if we have something. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So we can make it um, like a little cooler like that. We can change the radius. Then we have the film grain and we're going to enable that. And let's say that I want to do like 35 millimeter. I can just zoom in a little bit. So you can see here, if I just take off the grain, what that does. So it adds in film grain, cool. It has a flicker. I don't think that's, we're not going to do that. that and the gateway I'm not going to use for this. Um, film gate, we are going to so here we can actually change the aspect ratio so we can change it to like let's say 35 millimeter academy or we can change it to vista vision or we can change it into something a little more normal like this or in any case we could just go into custom and we can just make our own if we want that so maybe we want to make some kind of a crazy aspect ratio like that, something like that. Maybe we want to do something like that. Super cool. Hey, this is a super cool, cool tool. And I just, we, we went from uh, from going from this look into this look in 
nearly no time. And this is a super powerful tool and this is just the first look at it. So that's super cool. Another new tool, of course, is the noise reduction. So if we go into the noise reduction, noise reduction have got a new AI tool. So we just have a look at the clip here. You can see it's pretty noisy. So let's see if we can fix some, uh, that a bit with the help of artificial intelligence. If we go into mode, we can then change this from fast into ultra NR, which is the AI thing. And I'm just going to push analyze and we're going to have this button here and we can actually change the place or the size of this thing if we want to. So let's say we want to have a lot of noise here and I want it to search in this area, perhaps not as big, something like that. I'm just going to hit analyze. And now it's going to give us a representation of what it think we should use of noise reduction. So it is super noisy, but we can t toggle it on and off. I don't know if you can actually see, but it, it does remove a lot of noise, at least digital noise. And of course, this is a rendered clip where this is actually the kind of the look of the, that film. So of course, this is not the best example, but it's there and it um, actually works pretty well. So we're also going to jump into Fairlight to have a look at one of the new tools, which is the music mixer tool, which is quite cool. So. Um, this works in a, not in a different way, but if you go into Fairlight and you just click on the track here and you go to the inspector, you'll see that there is none of these new tools. Uh, the reason you can't see the tools is actually because it's on a track basis. That meaning we're going to select the entire track and then we have all the new tools, which is the dialogue separator. We are going to look into that, not in this video, but in another one. And also the docking feature, we're going to do that in a separate video. But we're going to take the music remixer here. I'm going to select that. And we have this little track here. So obviously we have a, a voice. I don't want anybody singing. So let's, let's kill the voice. No, and I, I can toggle on the voice again. Take it off again. I don't know how they do this, but this is really, really great. Great. We can also just mute the, let's mute the drums. Let's mute the bass, mute others and guitar. And I'm, I only want to hear the voice because it's such a lovely voice. So obviously we could uh, m mix this into something. We could also just have everything here. I'm just going to keep everything here. So we could also, I guess, take the voice and put this down to minus and the voice is gone. That meaning we could perhaps keyframe stuff as well. I'm not going to look into that, but I mean, pretty powerful. Let's just have one with the guitar and drums. And I'm going to take out the bass and other others. So this is what we have. Super powerful tool in DaVinci Resolve, I think. Very, very cool. Okay, so that was a look at some of the new features in DaVinci Resolve. I know there is a lot of features, but I don't want to make this video too long. So I'm going to make other videos talking about some of the other new tools. But these four tools are quite cool, I think. Really nice update, Blackmagic. Thanks. Anyway, I do hope you found this little video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. Give the video a like. Share it with your friends if you think it would help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning, and keep sharing.